Hi, my name's Gary Evans. I practice Shoryu Karate Do. This series of videos will be on Uke, blocking or receiving. We're now going to look at the rising level block. Jodan Agor. Some of the main points we want to look at here at a basic level, the main things we want to look at here is bringing the arms in a cross-like fashion across the body here. So we just bring them through. So we'll keep our fists, the hands closed. Bring the hands through in this motion. Shoulder down, elbow tucked in. We'll get to this other hand later. Comes through here. Now pretend you're not doing an uppercut. So as you bring it through, it's like an uppercut coming through. It goes up. And the last motion is for it to pivot around on the shoulder joint with your radial bone facing the the opponent or the um, what you're about to hit, attack or break. So it comes through and then you have this stabbing like motion on the end. You pictured yourself with there with a, a pencil or something or, or a stabbing motion. So you don't want to rotate the hand all the way around and expose the underside and uh, you know the, the palm etc out, out this way. So keep it in. So again coming through, cross, uppercut, rotate the shoulder and a stabbing motion here, hitting with the radial bone. So just demonstrate that again one more time. Across, there's the cross, uppercut coming through, rotation, and a motion here. You want to keep the fist about an open hand's distance from the nose at 45 degrees. Wrist in line with the nose. So you're covering your head. You want to make sure you, it's not too low, not this way where your face is exposed. So again, 45 degrees, one open hand's distance from the nose, and there we have a basic rising block. While we do all this, of course, we're going to be doing it in simple basic stance. Okay, what I'd like to do now is just do the same blocking technique, rising block, but I want to now add a little bit of another element, a bit more advanced look at this blocking or receiving technique. We have two hands here, two hands. We generally only see one hand doing anything, but both hands are doing something. So let's look at it if we open our hands up. So as we come through, we have a check. Check coming through, and then we have our block coming through. So if a punch was coming at us, and standing still without moving yet, I can check that attack, bring the hand through and receive it on the outside of the forearm. Again, check, lock comes through, same as before, and receiving it on the outside of the arm, forearm. So again, as the hand's coming through in this cross-like motion, an uppercut coming through and you finish the lock with the rotation of your shoulder, Elbow down, a 45 degree slant through on your arm here, so it's just not horizontal to the floor. It's on a 45 degree angle. Shoulder down, elbow back, not out, this way, nice and in. And you're hitting with the outside of the forearm. So again, coming through, up and out. Up, rotation, and hitting with the outside of the arm. If we now put some body movement into this, so now we're going to move our body, which again brings this technique to life even more than what we were just doing. And remembering that we're not going to be doing our karate standing still. Eventually we are going to be doing a lot of movement with it. So we learn it in the most basic form first, and then we start to look at the, uh, the technique more in depth. So we do the exactly the same movement, checking and blocking. So an attack comes in, I'm going to check across my body. So if I'm checking and pushing the technique this way, I want to move the opposite way. So the technique comes in, I check, and then I can apply the block. Again, the other way, check, and apply the block.
Now, if that was coming from a straight punch or a hook punch, you get the idea of punch coming around, you check, and on the back side of the arm, pushing through, causing the, the attacker to go off balance. If you push in a little bit further, you'll definitely push them off balance. We're now going to look at the lower level block, gate arm uke, gate arm barai. With this block, we bring the hand up high onto our shoulder, as if you were touching your ear. So depending on your, how high you get that arm, you want to get that arm up high on the shoulder, use your ear as a reference, and you need to get this elbow across the center line. We don't want the elbow on this side of the body, we want the elbow on the, across the center arm, center line of the body. The other arm comes across. So you, you can see that you've got the, you're well covered through the middle. From here, hand leads with the elbow, driving down. Pull the other arm back to your side of your body. Pick a tail. Again, across, elbow covering, going across the center line, hand high on the shoulder, arms come together, leading with the elbow down, hitting, locking with the outside of the forearm, pulling the arm back. The distance should be, make sure that the hand is just to the outside of the body. We don't want the inside of the body. Make sure it goes just past the outside of your leg. And we're looking at one open hand's distance away. So not too close, not too far. Okay, this is a reference. A general reference on how far should be away from the body. Now we're going to add the check into the movement. Again, as we saw in rising level block, two hands are working. This time, one hand comes across to check, receive the, uh, the attack, lower level punch or kick, coming through, hands up high and reinforcing the check with a lower level block, hitting with the outside of the forearm. Across, up and down. So now we'll add some body movement to that. So again, checking and blocking, but now with some body movement. So as we step up to our left, the hand will come across to receive the technique. And we're not going to open up our stance too much, but we're just going to move across and in. And back, we step across and check and block. Cross check and block. Check, block. What we also need to try and do is make sure we have economy of movement between our hands. So the hand checking this hand needs to be prepped, chambered, ready to go and moving through and back. Check, this hand's chambered, block. And as we move to the side, we're checking, chambered, and the hand comes through, blocking. As we're doing this, same as before, you've checked, and this has the potential to take your part, your opponent off balance by pushing on the back of their arm. So again, as that person's coming through, you're checking and hitting your forearm higher up here on the outside of their arm, causing them to go off balance as well. Hand comes through, you check and move out of the way. So body movement clears you offline. And then the hand comes through and can take that opponent off balance. With this one here as well, as you're moving, you can check, you can also Put your hand on the outside of their arm so you end up with a 
hyperextension of the elbow as well. So with their hand here and your head in here, you have this emotion here, causing a little bit of hyperextension of the elbow joint. Come through, check. You've got that, you put your hand on the inside of their forearm and you've got a little bit of, as you hit impact and you pull this hand back, you can hyperextend the elbow joint as well. So you're moving your opponent off balance. You can also stress the elbow joints and um, of course, you've moved out of the way and done an effective block.